So two things happened over the weekend, two important uh, events, as it were. One, April 30th, Saturday, was Pico Day 2011. And I think I've mentioned before who Pico is, but for those of you who do not know, Pico is one of the sort of mascots of Newgrounds.com. He was created by Tom Fulp, who created Newgrounds.com. And uh, ever since then, on Tom Fulp's birthday, April 30th, they have celebrated Pico Day. And there's a lot of movies and video games featuring Pico. We're going to play one today called Staff Sumo Smackdown by Manly Chicken. Because the Manly Chicken has continued to threaten me bodily harm if I don't play all of his games. That's not true, but wouldn't it be funny if it was? Um, the other thing that happened over the weekend that I found out when I woke up this morning is that Osama bin Laden died. Um, more, uh, I suppose, <laughs> more accurately was killed. And uh, there's nothing... <laughs> the fact that he's been killed is out, but not really details on how it all went down. And uh, they basically, like, dumped the body at sea so that there would not be a grave or a memorial or something like that. Um, for terrorists to rally around as a martyrdom. But they're, they've captured some of his DNA and some other things, and they're going to test it out and make, you know, double check that it is really him. Uh, so, yeah, fun stuff there. All right, let's play. Steph. Holy crap, my volume was way up. <laughs> not too bad for you guys, probably, but really big for me. Staff Sumo Smackdown. So, controls, left, right move, up jumps, down blocks, A attacks, and uh, you want to... Oh yeah, I love that. So, your characters have two different stats. Speed and strength. All you can upgrade is strength. There's actually no upgrades in this game. I believe you only st start off with these uh, first two. Tom Fulp and his brother Wade Fulp. And from there, you have to uh, beat the game and unlock characters as you go. And I've left three characters at the end. Uh, Lil Jim, who's all speed and no strength. Mind Chamber, who's all strength and no speed. And Mike, who's about half and half speed and strength. I believe uh, Psycho Goldfish is the closest. Oh, no. Yeah, these guys are the closest to half and half. One is just a little faster, one's a little stronger. So I'm going to show you how to play the game three times. I'm going to start with Mind Chamber, all strength, so you can see how this works. Now, this game was put together at a moment's notice, basically. Um, he, I think he spent four days on it, which is not a lot of time for a Flash game. Boom! And let's go over a little bit of what you'll see here. One, if you notice, like, I'll hit him, and every once in a while, he's gets stuck down like in a bowing position. If you miss hitting your opponent, you get stunned for a second, like I did just there. You can't move, you can't attack. Um, you have to click with a mouse to continue to the next round. Now we're gonna fight Luis. Boom! Ah, I missed. If you see them kind of go into a bow position but hold their hands over their head like this, that is a block. And if they attack you while you're blocking, you hear that little boing-boing sound. And uh, because they missed hitting you, they become stunned for a second, just like if they had missed hitting you normally. You'll notice if you uh, knock the guy to the edge of the ring and knock him off the side, he does lose some of his health. That's Stamper. And I, while you're playing, you're paying attention to the guys, and you don't really see the uh, health bars as much. And so it took me a while to figure out that knocking him off actually did hurt him and didn't just uh, cause us to restart the match in the be in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the ring, as it were. Now stronger guys, of course, hit you further, but they don't attack as quickly. In the original version of this game, when they first uploaded it, um, everybody attacked at the same speed, and so playing a fast but not strong character was very pointless. You can see this guy is just wailing on me, but he's not nearly as strong as I am, so he can't kill me quite as easily. Uh, another thing to point out is underneath my health bar, you see that red bar. That red bar is my block bar. While you're holding block, that bar depletes, and uh, once you hit to the bottom of that bar, 
you have to wait for it to recharge all the way to the top before you can block again. Now we're going to fight a mirror match. The last round is always a mirror match that I've seen so far. Uh, up in the gallery there, we see some well-known Newgrounds personalities. From the left, that's Mind Chamber, uh, Pico himself, Nene, uh, one of the mindless grunts from Madness Day, Dad from Dad and Me, and Bitey of Brackenwood. Boom! Oh, come on. Now, there are some strategies to go with here. Um, when you're playing a really strong guy, you can't attack very fast. So basically, the strategy is just to walk forward and beat the guy into submission. Yay, we got a metal get. Mind Chamber went on to rule new grounds with an iron fist. Naturally, the staff was replaced with robots at Mind Chamber's request. Don't worry, though. They all got jobs working for Facebook. Even Johnny Utah. Stab Sumo Smackdown. Let's play again. This time I'll play as Lil' Jim. Lil' Jim is all speed, no strength. So it requires a completely different tactic of walking into the guy and beating the crap out of him. And uh, you just want to make sure that you don't, when you hit him, you notice he gets knocked back a little bit. You want to hit him as much as possible, but you also want to make sure that you're moving forward enough that you're not stunning yourself, because that's the biggest issue when you're playing a fast character. You end up attacking... Oh! This is the first time I've ever not had a... Uh, Final fight mirror match. Maybe there's going to be a new boss. Ha ha ha. And pushing the uh, your opponent off the edge of the mat does enough damage that it's worth trying to do. I mean, there's no reason to ever back up because it puts you closer to being knocked off the edge. And block to stun him. Boom. Ha 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 ha. There is some abruptness when you end a fight, like right there. The last hit sometimes won't make the sound that it's landing, and then just suddenly the fight ends. <clears throat> Get... Ah, 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 ah. Punk. Ha 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 ha. Boom. And, uh... So yeah, if for the not-so-strong guys, you just go ahead and walk forward and hit them a couple times, and you hit so hard that you knock them back. When you're playing with these guys, you kind of are a button masher for the most part. You learn how to use the uh, the block button to stun them at the right time. You learn when they're going to block so you don't uh, attack. And it's kind of like just a feeling. On the earliest guys, it doesn't matter because they are, they're so easy to beat that you don't, uh, don't need to apply any sort of... Ooh, come on, stop. Gotcha. You don't need to apply that, that level of strategy to them. Ooh. Your block bar, as I was just about to run out of block bar in that last round, does refill between rounds. So you don't have to worry if you spend all um, the entire block bar in one round, because it'll come back. Haha, <laughs> you suck. There is a jump button in this game, but for the most part it's useless. I don't find myself jumping. Oh! There is a mirror match as the last one. So for some strange reason, I just had to fight my, uh, first my evil robot clone, and then my evil actual clone. So here, you notice I get to hit him like twice, and then he, uh, he's been blocking. That's sort of a pattern that you'll come across. If you get him, start getting him good, after two hits, they block. Just sort of an easy way for them to program that in. And then what you can just do is block yourself, and then, now that you've got the pattern down, haha, <laughs> push him off the edge. Hit twice, and then uh, don't hit at all. Boink. Ha ha ha. Off the edge. Tea and crumpets. Lil Jim took control of the... <laughs> I love how they're using these. Took control of the Newgrounds office and forced the staff to eat tea and crumpets. This, of course, caused Luis to die because he was no longer permitted to eat tacos. Ah, oh, which reminds me, 5th of May is coming up soon. Alright, here's the last guy, Mike. I saved him for last because he's about balanced. And I actually find the balanced guys... The balanced guys and the really strong guys are pretty much the easiest to use. The balanced guys get to attack more often than the uh, than the strong guys, but they do more damage than the fast guys, and so it's sort of a balance. I know I'm basically just <laughs> saying hot water is hot, but uh, it really pays off in that you can keep up both strategies at once. You have the speed of attacking of the fast guy, but it doesn't take as long to kill the guy because you uh, you're stronger. Or, put the other way, 
you have most of the power of the strong guys, but it doesn't take as long to kill the guy because <laughs> you're faster. Boom. I'm going to try and end this video with me uh, hitting him, not this guy, but the last fight. I'm going to try and hit the guy with, uh... come on, you want to die. I'm stronger than you, so <laughs> sitting there trading blows for, with me one by one is not in your best interest. I'm going to try and end the, uh, the last fight with a jump attack. I would also love to end the last fight with uh, knocking the guy off the uh, edge, but that's a little bit more difficult to pull off than just a straight-up jump attack. You might notice here this guy, when the, he decides to start attacking in rapid succession, he hits you so often that you don't actually get a, a chance to really hit him back, and he kind of sticks you, and you become stuck. <laughs> Once again, repeating myself. I'm not thinking straight. Uh, I have... I slept quite a bit today, and... Uh, I actually slept probably longer than I should have, and as a, as a result, I'm sort of overly rested. You know how you can rest so long that you actually feel tired? I'm in about that level. I also just ate uh, an ice cream sandwich. Come on, punk. Take it, take it! Ah ha ha! Boom! There's that sudden abrupt ending. Alright, mirror match five on... Uh, fighter five. Mike versus Mike. Boing. Bump. Boing. Boing. Ow. Ha. Boing. Ah. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. So you want to use your block more uh, judiciously. You want to make sure you're using it at the right time. Ah. Now see, I've got to wait for my block bar to get all the way back up to the top of the block again. All right. Boom. 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 Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I missed him on that second one because he was jumping. Boom, 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 boom. All right, I think one more. Jump, boom. Oh, one more. Boom, got you in air. Yeah, you saw there I was abusing the two-hit block method. So he, uh, you hit the enemy twice, and then he blocks. And so you just wait and then hit him again when he comes out of the block. And you can hit him twice again and keep that up. I couldn't think of one. This is uh, the medal get for getting, for beating the game with a particular character. There was no clever medal uh, title for him. Mike decided to allow Tom to continue to run new grounds. Mike had fallen deeply in love with the life of the sumo. He is now making it his career path. And there, Staff Sumo Smackdown Superstar. I have now, well, we can't see there. Let's reload the page. Not that you guys can, uh, come on. Internet, you're faster than that. I now have every one of the medals for this game. So the first two medals are just beating the game with Wade and Tom, who are the starting characters. Then there's Perfect. You have to win a round without taking damage. That is kind of difficult. Uh, I managed to do it with Luis. Uh, it might be e easier to do. The stronger characters tend to be easier because you get to hit the guy and they fly back farther and you do more damage per hit. So as long as you're being careful about it, you want to do as much damage as possible with a single hit so you don't have to stay in close where they can counterattack. And then the last one we just got was beat the game with everybody. And I suppose while we're here in the last few seconds, this is the manly chicken. This is what has been threatening me with violence. All right, poopy butt. <laughs> anyway, uh, until next Pico Day, bye-bye.